little pom-pom animal keychains. These are super easy, super cute, and super versatile. You can do any style you want with any color or any animal and they'll all turn out super cute. So let's get started with the materials. I'm using cheaper quality yarn because the fibers separate more easily and that will result in fluffier pom-poms. And you also need some fabric scissors and some felt of your choice that you would like to decorate your pom-poms with afterwards. Some of these pom-pom makers and you can choose your own size and I'll be showing you how to use these later on in the video. Some hot glue and pliers and jump rings only if you want to turn these into keychains or charms. I am also going to be connecting these onto cell phone straps. Some black beads that I'm going to use as the eyes and some small store-bought pom-poms as decoration and some pink chalk pastels. I'm taking a 45 millimeter pom-pom ball maker and I found this to be the perfect size for what I wanted the pom-poms to be. So to use this, you want to start by opening one side of it by pulling the prongs back and that way you'll have this side exposed and this is where we're going to wrap our yarn. So I'm going to be taking my yarn and then I'm going to be holding it down with my thumb and you want to start wrapping it and there's two little stoppers on each side and you want to be wrapping in between those stoppers. And you don't want to wrap them too tightly, you just kind of want to space them out like this and then go back and fill in any gaps. And this is just going to ensure that you're going to have an evenly wrapped pom-pom. So you want to wrap your yarn about 60 to 70 times on each side and this is going to vary depending on the thickness or how thin your yarn is. And once you're done wrapping it, check to make sure that it's even and if it's all set then you can close the one side of the pom pom maker. Now the next part is to open up the other side and you're basically going to repeat the same exact steps that you did for the other half. is fully wrapped you just want to take the extra yarn and put it in between the little space at the top and now you just want to close up the contraption so now you just want to grab your scissors and you want to cut your pom-pom away from the rest of your yarn and you also want to get a small piece that you're going to use later on to tie and hold the pom-pom together So this is probably the hardest part in this entire project and it is cutting through the many layers of yarn. So I wanted to wrap it many many times around the pom pom maker to make it more dense and that way it's going to hold its shape better and it's just going to be more fluffy in the end. So I really recommend you guys to use fabric scissors on this part because of the so many layers that you have to cut through and I tried it with regular scissors and it just was not cutting through the layers. Now once you have everything cut, you want to tie all the pieces together, and so this is where your extra piece of yarn that you cut up earlier will be used. So you just want to wrap it around and tie it, and make sure to tie it very tight so that no fibers are going to be falling out later on, and you want to tie this about two or three times. Now once everything is tied and secure, it is time to release the pom-pom. So all you have to do is just open the prongs again on each side, can see it is very fluffy and then you want to twist and then just pull the two halves apart. And now you just want to take it and roll it in your hands. This is just going to separate the fibers a little bit to make it fluffy and also expose any pieces of yarn that are just too large. So now you want to take the time to just trim away any pieces that are just too long and just perfect the shape of the pom-pom before we move on to the next step and just make every single strand look uniform. And now you just want to take your pom-pom and re-fluff it just to make sure that there's no hidden pieces of yarn that are just too long and need to be cut. So if you want to make this into a keychain or some kind of accessory, you want to go find that loop in the center where you tied all the strands together and this is where you're going to attach your jump ring. So all you need to do is take your jump ring and hook it underneath the loop and then close it up. So now you can make this into anything you want and I'm just attaching a cell phone strap onto mine. 
So next, I'm just going to be taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to be adding little cheeks onto the pom-pom. So I'm just taking the little store-bought pom-poms and just pressing them in the center of the pom-pom and they're going to be right next to each other and these are going to be the little chubby cheeks of the pom-pom animal. I am placing the eyes up and a little to the side of the cheeks and I'm just taking my black beads and just pressing them into the glue. And here is what our little face looks like so far. And now to make the ears, I'm just cutting out two little ear shapes out of my white felt. And then I'm taking my pink chalk pastel and just coloring in the center of the ear just to give it a little more color. And I'm just going to be hot gluing the ears onto the top of the pom pom. And you want to pinch it in a little bit just so that the shape is more refined. And then afterwards, we're going to take another dot of hot glue and just press it in to secure that shape. And you want to do the same to the other ear and make sure to pinch it in so that you have like a curved ear shape. So the next facial feature we're adding on is a nose. And so I'm just taking pink felt and cutting a small triangle out of the felt. And since this piece is so small, I'm going to be using fabric glue instead of hot glue just so that I won't burn myself. Just want to add a dot right in the center and then add the triangle nose. And here is what the face looks like. Now taking another one of those pom-poms that we used for the cheeks, we're going to use that as the tail as well. So you just want to glue that onto the back. So as a little extra embellishment to add to the cuteness, I'm adding a sparkly red bow that's going to go right in front of the ears. And now I'm going to be adding some color to the cheeks with my chalk pastel and this is just going to give it a really cute, nice blush. And after that, your pom-pom is all done. So there's a lot of variation on how you can do this project. For example, if you use this kind of yarn that has different dyes within it, then once you make your pom-pom, it's going to look very spotted like this. But say you don't have this kind of yarn, but instead you have two different yarns that are different colors. You can wrap them both at the same time. But since you're wrapping double the amount of yarn that you regularly would, then you only would have to wrap it about 30 times instead of 60. So in the end, you get a really nice blend of both the yarn colors and they're going to be of equal amount. Say you want two colors in your pom-pom, but you don't want to mix the two colors together. So for this pom-pom, I'm making it so that it has a blue body and a white belly. So on one side, you want to wrap it completely with blue yarn. And on the other side, you want to wrap it about two-thirds of the way with blue yarn. And then the rest of it, you're going to wrap it with white yarn. So on the second half, you're wrapping the blue yarn about 40 times, and you're wrapping the white yarn about 20 times. And this is just going to create two separate colors. And as you can see, this is the color block that we've created. And once you cut it and form it, this is what it will look like. And as you can see, there is a white belly and a blue body. And you can also have variations while decorating it. I made one with two bows and one with no ears, no bows, and just a face. I also cut the ears down to be shorter and smaller, and that kind of gives it a hamster-like effect. And these are all the little pom-poms that I showed you in the tutorial. And so these are super versatile and you can really turn them into anything. And if you have no ideas what you want to do with it, you can just throw them on your dog. Or turn them into her nap buddies. Well, this is the end of the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more. And don't forget to check out my last video where I showed you how to make these cute little felt cake. And this requires no sewing and no needle felting and it is super easy and super adorable so don't forget to check out the tutorial for that.